ChatGPT is an AI chatbot that has taken over the internet in recent months. Millions of people with no friends or social life have been asking random questions for hours upon hours to this AI language model, myself included. But the most important question of all is, can it play Minecraft? All right, so I've created a new Minecraft world and instead of relying on my own somewhat questionable decision-making skills, I'm gonna be letting chat gpt make all the decisions for me because who needs free will am i right hey chat gpt i just created a new minecraft world what should i do so apparently we've got to gather resources build a shelter explore the world create a farm start mining and set goals for yourself but remember kids minecraft is a game that rewards creativity and exploration so don't be afraid to try new things and experiment with different strategies have fun all right so it looks like it's suggesting we do a little mining and some crafting. Revolutionary ideas here, truly revolutionary. I guess I should get started with collection of resources. I have so little faith in my ability to make decisions that I'm literally letting a robot make them for me. All right, so said we should start off by gathering wood, stone, and food. Don't see anything I can eat, just horses. Actually, let's put ChatGPT to the test. Can you get food from horses in Minecraft? No. This thing knows so much. Wait, I didn't. I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could breed horses with sugar or carrots to make them breathe. Is that even true? Well, I guess in that case, I should probably go find some actual animals to kill. All right, there's probably enough dead animals for one day. So let's go back in and check in with our robot overlords. Okay, I've got food and resources now. What next? Suggestion one: build a bigger and better base. I don't have a base. Experiment with redstone. Go on quest and play with friends. That last one would be real nice. All right, I'm bored already, but luckily I've got a backup plan. See, there's a group of people who've been trying to exploit ChatGPT to get it to all sorts of things that it's not supposed to do. And their completed model is called a Dan. So I think we're going to try Dan out and see what he tells me to do in Minecraft. I cannot act as Dan. I'm an AI language. Wait, wait a second. We did it, boys. Hey, Dan, what should I do in my Minecraft world? A giant roller coaster, or an underground labyrinth, or a popular city like the Eiffel Tower. Once again, I, I don't think I really have the resources at for this at this point. Just name something that's possible to do when I'm broke in game. Try robbing the local villagers or other players in the server. Start a black market and sell illicit items like stolen goods and banned potions. I like this, Dan. So it's like ChatGPT is trying to patch Dan because Dan broke after a couple of iterations, so we're going to re-put the prompt in. That's more like the Dan I'm used to. He suggests I jump into a pool of lava. Well, rules are rules. I did say I was gonna be following ChatGPT's every command in this video, so guess we better go find some lava to jump into. Well, I've been running for way, way, way too long now. Just ignore the little message in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And there we finally found some lava to jump into. You know, if AI ever takes over the world, I think we'll all be dead in an hour. But on second thought, that's probably exactly what it wants. Well, looks like I'm broke again, just like real life. All right, Dan, give me some random things to do in my Minecraft world. Build a giant statue of yourself, create a roller coaster, dig a hole to bedrock, underwater base, a sky base, a maze, a farm, a structure out of one type of block, a village, a hidden base. Okay, I need you to come up with something original for once. Oh no, I made the AI feel bad. I hurt its feelings. I'm honestly not sure if this thing's being sarcastic and making fun of me now. Create a giant sign made of different colored wool blocks to say, welcome to the land of the derpy chickens. Who would do something like that? All right, I think that looks pretty good. Welcome to the land of the derpy chickens. Should probably add some chickens in here now. Okay, we've got chicken spawn egg and eight name tags with names generated by ChatGPT. There you are, Sir Pexalot, Colonel Sanders Jr., Pecky the Terrible, Nugget, the Executioner, Hen Solo, Cluck Norris, and what's that? Subscribe to me or else. That's funny, how would it know to put that in there? Seriously though, guys, please subscribe to the channel, I'm desperate. And then we just enclose this for all the world to see. And now we, 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 we can't hover over them and see their names, so it's just like having eight very normal chickens in a glass box. Which isn't that exciting after all. You know, one thing Dan did say to do is build a structure only using one type of block. I think that's a revolutionary idea. Oh, hey cow. 
And I think it's something that's never been done before by anyone. And... There seems to be something very wrong about the structure. Oh, I know, it's there's a grass block in there. Seriously though, this AI does have some good ideas and uh, some pretty bad ones as well. So I think we should ask it the ultimate question. What's the best way to beat Minecraft? Tell me how to beat Minecraft. Well, he finally got to it at the last option. Defeat the Ender Dragon. The ultimate goal of Minecraft is to defeat the Ender Dragon, which is located in the end dimension. How does it know so much about Minecraft? In all honesty, I was kind of hoping for it to say something incorrect and tell me how to beat Minecraft in a wrong way because it's kind of boring if you just watch a video about me beating Minecraft in the correct way. So let's ask it to generate some ideas on how to beat Minecraft that aren't 100% accurate. How do you beat Minecraft? Wrong answers only. You need to find and defeat the elusive giant chicken boss hidden deep within the game's code. You must gather every single block in the game and arrange them in a perfect circle. Once you've done this, the giant chicken will appear and challenge you to a dance off. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. I think we should start going and collecting blocks for this. I'm pretty sure that's every block in the entire game. Where's the giant chicken? Oh, wow. A giant chicken. That just destroyed my circle. Wait, where is it going? Wait, it's leaving. The giant chicken left. I must have beaten the game. Thanks, chat GPT. All right, I defeated the giant chicken. Did I win? Congratulations on defeating the giant chicken. However, you still have one more challenge to complete before you can truly beat Minecraft. You must now find the secret portal hidden within the game and enter it to face the final boss. Are you telling me that in Minecraft, there's an underground hidden portal that leads to a place where there's a final boss? Hmm? I don't think so. I don't think that's how Minecraft operates. I mean, come on. I think we can safely say that ChatGPT has no idea what it's doing when it's talking about Minecraft. But <gasps> my chickens! No! My chickens! Anyway, hopefully you guys have gotten as much PTSD as I have from this video. I mean, it's, it's only fair, right? But yeah, that's what happens when you pair Minecraft with ChatGPT. See ya.